everyone, this is Brian Kunanan from BSE 2B Mathematics Major. And for this video, me and Angeline will be discuss the problem-based learning. Before I start the discussion, I will give you comparison between traditional and problem-based learning. In traditional learning, also called as spoon feeding. Why? Because in this type of learning, teacher discuss the lesson word by word for the for the student easily understand the lesson unlike the problem unlike in problem based learning naga assign yung teacher ng problem or the teacher assign a problem to student in for them to um identify what they need to know in that problem and of course to get a solution or to find a solution for that problem and that's a problem-based learning so what is problem-based learning problem-based learning it is a student-centered approach in which students learn about a subject by working in a group to solve an open-ended problem so sinasabing itong student-centered kasi nga all the information that the student need to know ay sila yung gagawa ng action to find that information. The only role of the teacher in this kind of learning is to guide and check the student's progress and output. It says here that working in a group to solve an open-ended problem. So, ano ibig sabihin? Kasi in problem-based learning, most of the time, this, um, most of the time, the activities here is doing in a groupings. Because ka, it, ang gumagalaw na dito is yung isudyante, kailangan nila ng katulong to get an accurate and exact information that they need to know. Um, the best example of it is the research. Hahanap sila ng problems sa surroundings nila and then they try to find solution or at least recommendation to solve that problem and that's the problem-based learning to continue the discussion let me give you some trivia the problem-based learning is originated in 1960s at McMaster University at Hamilton Canada Barrows and Tumbling was the pioneer of it at the medical school program at McMaster University in Hamilton in the 1960s. Originally, the problem-based learning is a teaching method in which complex real-world problems are used as the tool to promote students' learning. So, ano ibig sabihin no? So, sinasabi na as a tool to promote students' learning. Kasi, in problem-based learning, estudyante yung kumikilos dito. So, sila yung nag- ahanap ng information na kailangan nila so it's easy for them to really understand the lesson kumbaga mas na mas madali kasi pag alam, alam mo or ikaw yung mismo naghahanap kung ano ba talaga yung kailangan mo malaman so yun yung yun yung pinaka purpose ng problem based learning is easy for student to understand the lesson discussion let me give you the benefits of problem-based learning. Typically, students find it more enjoyable and satisfying. So, bakit sinabing ganon? Kasi, nowadays, the students are wanted the things that is more exciting. Because, yung mga sadyante ngayon is, gusto nila yung mga, yung may thrill or yung mas nahihirapan sila para if they solve the problem, meron silang maipagmamalaki na, ay, gawa ko yan, ganyan, ganyan. Kasi, um, based on my observation, some of the students are so competitive. Ayaw nila nagpapatalo. So, if they solve if they solve one problem, their self-confidence ay nag increase Kumbaga, ay, kumbaga, nagkakaroon sila pa ng lakas ng loob na mm, mag-solve ng another problem. So, yun yung benefits ng ng problem-based learning at nasasatisfy yung ego nila na ay nagawa ko to, ay kaya ko pala to, yun. Yun yung 
benefits ng problem-based learning for the students. After discussing the the meaning of problem-based learning, the benefits, the history, and the comparison between traditional and the problem-based learning, let's move on to the step to problem-based learning approach. So, step one, explore the issue. Say, yes, of course, we need to explore the issue for us to know what what we need to know yes um we need to gather necessary information such as new concept principle and uh, principles and skills about the purpose topic topic because if if we wanted to know more we need syempre to explore the issue or the topic na kailangan natin for us to easily understand what we need to know and what we already know so state what is known so after you after exploring the issue you need to state ng ngayon yung kung ano yung nalaman mo Indiv individual students and group list what they already know about the scenario and list what areas they are lacking information so sinasabi dito na you need to state or list all the information that you know for you to easily understand or for you to easily find out kung saan ba yung kulang na information para mahanapan nyo agad siya ng enough na information for you to have an accurate and enough information in that issue. So, after that, define issue. So, after you explore the issue, after you list down all the information that you already know, after you find out the information that is locked in your list, and now you need to define the issue. Based on all the information that you gather for you to, for you to create a new concept principle of that issue. And the step 4 will be discussed by Miss Angeline Gatos and here she is. Good day everyone, my name is Angeline Argatos. I am going to discuss the remaining step to our problem-based learning. I have here number 4, research the knowledge. In this step, it is about identifying the learning issues where they need to find out what is the learning issues to determine what they need to know and what they know more about the topic. Next is investigate solution. In this step, through critical thinking and formulate some hypotheses, you can list some unique possible action that may use as your solution. Number six, present and support your chosen solution. So in this step, after listing some possible action, you may present the chosen solution with evidence that may support your solution. Last is review your performances. At this point, you need to review or evaluate your performances and able to improve your next performances. This is an opportunity for students to self-reflect and recognize what their weaknesses and strengths. By reviewing or evaluating their performances, they can gain insight that will help them to improve. 